Hey everybody, it's Dak here from the Ed Boys, and welcome to our RuneScape 2007 1-99 Mining Guide. The goal of this guide is just to give you some information on how to train your mining at any level. There are a few different methods for training mining, these are just the ones that I prefer to use. Mining is a pretty simple skill, so this really shouldn't be that long of a guide. Before we talk about leveling your mining, you should know about Prospector gear. You can obtain the Prospector gear from the Motherload Mine, which I will talk about later. Wearing the full set of gear does give a mining boost of 2.5%, that is a mining XP boost, I should say. It's not a huge boost, but with mining being as long of a skill as it is, it really could save you some solid hours in the long run, so when you get the chance, because it does take 30 mining to even start getting it, go for your Prospector gear. Another important item for mining is the Dragon Pickaxe. Obviously, for the highest mining XP, you're going to want to use the highest tier pick available to you which eventually is the dragon pickaxe, but if you have 60 attack and you can wield the pick, it also has a special attack to gain 3 temporary mining levels. So similar to prospector gear, it's not a huge boost, but in the long run it is going to save you a little bit of time. There are a couple of easy quests that you can do for early mining levels. I really suggest doing Doric's quest and Plague City before you start mining, since that was going to put you at level 18 mining off the bat, and there are no requirements for either of them. You could also do the dig site quest, which has some really low requirements of 10 herb lore, 10 agility, and 25 thieving, and that combined with the other two would get you to 33 mining before you ever picked up a pickaxe. I left a link to the full list of quests that give mining XP in the description. Let's jump into the leveling guide. I'm going to start from level 1 for those of you that refuse to quest. At 1 mining, you can really only mine a few things. I would choose to go from 1 to 15, mining and dropping copper or tin ore in the Lumbridge Swamp Mine. You could also mine clay in the mine just southwest of Varrock, but either way it's not going to take you very long to grab 15 mining and you're going to be done with this part. This is something that has been in the game for a little while now, but if you're not aware of this, there is an option in your settings to allow you to hold shift and click an item to drop it. This is really useful for things like mining. From levels 15 all the way to 75, you should start to mine and drop iron. There are a few locations to do this. The two best ones I would say are the mine east of Ardoin and the dwarven mine below Falador. Power mining iron can really be taken all the way to 99, but there are a few methods that eventually pass it. Since you are going to be mining and dropping, you should probably bring all your pickaxes with you that you're going to unlock on the way, just so you can put them right on instead of having to run to the bank. It probably won't kill you to just run to the bank back and forth. Probably only going to save like 4 minutes in the long run, but I mean realistically, why not? At level 75 mining, you should really start using the blast mine. Unless you're a 3 tick kind of person, it's the best option all the way to 99 at the moment. You do need 100% favor in the Lovacane house to use the blast mine. The blast mine is pretty simple to do, you're just going to need a chisel, a tinderbox, and a lot of dynamite, and of course your pickaxe. The process of obtaining blasted ore starts with excavating some hard rock, which requires a chisel. And once you dig a hole in the wall, you can just click it again to place some dynamite in there, and then click it one more time to light the dynamite. It's now going to explode in a few seconds, and if you're within two squares of it, you're going to take a little bit of damage, like a 13 to a 15, something like that. Blasted ore is going to be left on the ground afterward though, no matter if you take the damage or not, so just walk away from it. But be sure not to just wait there for your dynamite to explode. You should really walk away and start lighting some more dynamite a few squares away to speed up the process. Once you have some blasted ore, you can put it in the ore sack, then collect the ores from this man afterward. The ore sack can hold up to a thousand ores before you have to collect. Also, blasted ore will disintegrate in your inventory after a minute, so don't hold on to them for too long. The blast mine really could be a whole guide in itself. And it is a lot more click intensive than something like Motherload Mine, which we're going to talk about in a second. But uh, the XP per hour here is some of the best in the game, and you can profit really well too, even at like 75 mining, since the Blast Mine does allow you to mine ores up to 10 levels below the requirement. So right at 75, you start to get Rune Ore from here. It is a pretty good choice if you are into how click intensive it is. If you're not really a fan of the Blast Mine, then you could also mine Granite once you hit level 75. You can actually mine granite at level 45, it's just slower than iron until you get into the high 70s. You have to mine granite in the desert, so you gotta make sure to either bring water skins with you, or if you've done the Elite Desert Diaries, uh, you can wear that amulet for 100% protection. Your prospector gear is on the list of gear that extends the time to drink water, so you could bring some other gear to make it so you don't have to drink water as often, but really the prospector gear, it should be worn here, it just makes the most sense. You can just mine and drop granite for good XP rates, but this is also a popular place for 3 tick mining. 3 tick and granite is the fastest mining XP in the game, as far as I'm aware. You could also 3 tick iron, by the way, for good XP. Either one works. I'm not very good at 3 ticking anything, so this is not a guide to teach you how. You don't want to learn from me, trust me. But if you're into a much more click intensive method that could really crank your levels out, then you probably want to 3 tick this. 
You can potentially make some really good money when mining all the way to 99. If you only mine rune ore the moment you unlock it at 85, you'd make like 880 mil, assuming that rune ore is still like 11k a piece when you watch this. But that would take a ridiculous amount of time. If you're looking for a good mix of XP and money, I would do the motherload mine. You unlock motherload mine at level 30 mining. It is really simple to use. You just mine pay dirt from all the veins on the sides of the walls. And then you place the pay dirt in this hopper, which can hold a few inventories of pay dirt, and then you collect the ores from the sack. You can only get coal when you start, but once you unlock other ores, then you can start to get them. So at level 40, you can mine gold, you're going to start to get gold ore from this. Mithril at 55, Addy at 70, and you will even get rune ore at level 85 mining. You can also get gold nuggets while you mine at the motherload mine. These can be traded to Prospector Percy for some helpful items, including Prospector gear. Motherload mine is pretty AFK since you can get more than one pay dirt per ore vein. It's a super AFK, but it gives some decent mining XP too while making a few hundred K an hour, so it's not a bad option for 99 mining. Two more notes in the motherload mine. To get to the motherload mine, you gotta go to the Dwarven Mines under Falador and then go through this dungeon spot. And then also, there are two water wheels that are required to bring your ores from the hopper to the ore sack, and they can break. You do need a hammer, which you can just take out of this crate. And then whenever one of the struts breaks, you just have to click on it to go ahead and fix it. Generally, with a bunch of people here, someone is bound to fix it, but uh, if your ores are not going to the sack, this is why. Just go fix the strut. Jagex recently announced a fossil island idea that did pass some poles. And in the developer's blog, they, they mentioned that they would be featuring a new mining method that could be up to 80k XP per hour. I think they compared it to Winter Todd at how it was like a team effort kind of thing. But if and when this method comes out, I will make a separate guide on it and link it in the description. But for now, these are all the methods we have. That's going to wrap up this guide, everybody. If you have any questions about the guide or your own tips, leave them in the comment section below. I used to update the guides after release with annotations. Unfortunately, those are gone now, so I will update the description with anything that I feel is needed. Thank you very much for watching this guide, and best of luck with your mining.